So starting with NX 15.7, we now allow Angular folks to create a new single project NX workspace that leverages the Angular standalone API. So if you create a new NX workspace, you can go and choose the standalone Angular app. Now the standalone Angular app is simply a standalone NX workspace, which means a single project workspace with NX. Now, if you choose that, starting with NX 15.7, we now have the option to immediately start with standalone components rather than using Angular ng modules. So if you opt in to choose yes here, let's also add routing and further configuration. We get a very similar setup than what you would get with the Angular CLI, where we have a source folder at the very root which hosts our Angular application. Now, given that we have chosen to use the standalone API, you can see we already have a different setup in the bootstrapping and also our component is directly using the standalone API. So there's no ng modules around this specific setup. And as you go forward, you can also keep generating new components using the standalone configuration. If you have, for instance, NX console installed, you can just go ahead here and for instance, generate a new component. And in the settings of that component, let's give it a name. The project here is our ng app. We don't need a module here, but rather what I'm searching is for the actual standalone support that we can get here. And so now we can see this would generate a new component here inside my application, hello, hello component. And so if I run this, I would then get this new component, which as well uses already the standalone APIs. We are very excited about these new standalone APIs that Angular ships with because it makes the Angular application setup much more lightweight. Also, it nicely pairs with the modularization approach that NX comes with in terms of splitting up your code base into smaller local libraries. So definitely let me know your thoughts, how you like the new setup, and I'll see you in the next one.